Hi everyone, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer, and today I'm here with some really cool cases from Pataka for the iPad Pro 11-inch 2024 M4. We've got the MagEasy Case 2 and the MagEasy Folio 2, so these can be used either separately or together. The MagEasy Case 2 is a vanishingly thin case for your iPad Pro. It's made of aerospace grade aramid fiber that's got a great look and feel, adds a pleasant amount of grip to your iPad, and this can be used by itself or in conjunction with your Folio 2 case. The MagEasy Folio 2 is a magnetic folio cover. It's very slim and lightweight. It can be used with both a naked iPad as well as one that's using the MagEasy Case 2 we were just looking at. So you've got nice strong magnets on here, very slim profile. This supports auto sleep wake and it will charge your Apple Pencil Pro. You also have a nice strap here to secure things. So I think everything works quite well here. And when you're not using this in folio cover mode, you can also fold your folio cover back into a variety of positions. This is one of those origami style things. So here you go in one position. This is a landscape. There's another landscape position this way, as well as a portrait position. So lots of really cool options here. Let's take a closer look. Looking first at the MagEasy Case 2, this is a slim and lightweight case, adds almost no weight to your iPad Pro. Got beautiful aramid fiber here on the exterior, and then the sides are made of a polyurethane, and this is also lined with the same material. Everything seems very nicely made. This is not a drop rated case because it's too thin, I think, but it is quality construction and I think that that aramid fiber is gonna wear well over time. It also gives you a beautiful grip in the hand. Feels absolutely wonderful underneath your fingertips. Putting on the MagEasy Case 2 is not too difficult. You just want to clip the corners around this. So, I don't think it really matters which corner you start in. You've got these little tiny plastic tabs that you want to get into place. They clip on. And you just want to make sure at the end that they are all clipped on in place. There's one in each of these corners and there's some here in the middle also. Just make sure they're all in place and you should be good to go. Once on, I think we've got a very good fit on here. Very super slim, adds very little thickness to your iPad. I have a Zag XTR3 tempered glass screen protector on here right now and it fits really well. This case is gonna support up to 0.8 millimeter thick screen protectors and the Zag XTR3 is definitely underneath that level. You've got nicely positioned port openings on here. No issues with USB-C plugs, all that's gonna work great. And you got a spot here to support Apple Pencil charging, Apple Pencil Pro rather. So that's gonna work perfectly. You got nice strong magnets on here. Everything works great. And then you got covered buttons, which is wonderful. They work really well. You also have a covered power button as well. And then again, more nicely positioned cutouts. This side is completely open, so you don't have any protection there. And the reason for that is that this is designed to be compatible with Apple's Magic Keyboard, and it's mostly compatible with the Apple Magic Keyboard. You got that smart connector thing here. However, it doesn't quite close perfectly yet. So when you're using it, when it's unfolded, it's great, but when you try to close it up, there is just a bit of a gap. So I'm waiting for Pataka to fix that before I get around to reviewing that compatibility. So looking at the back, you got beautiful aramid fiber on here. So this has a great look and feel. It is gonna show fingerprints and greasy smears, but that's just the nature of aramid fiber. Other than that, everything is great and you do have plenty of protection here for your rear camera. Removing this case from your iPad Pro is relatively tight, but what you wanna do is start at the bottom and then clip off these two bottom corners. And then once your bottom corners are off, you should be able to slide the whole thing out. But it is a little bit of a slow process. 
And there you go, three corners off, and then you're able to take the entire thing off. Turning to the MagEasy Folio 2, you've got a very slim and lightweight case here. Very nice hand feel, soft PU leather on the exterior. This is also stiffened with fiberglass for protection. And then moving to the interior, we got a soft microfiber lining here that should be very gentle against the iPad, although it does tend to pick up dust and things like hat hair and whatever. So you have to be a little bit careful with that. But of course, these are going to come off very easily with a piece of tape or something along those lines. As I mentioned before, this case is going to be compatible both with an iPad with the MagEasy Case 2 on it as well as with a naked iPad. So checking this one out with a naked iPad, you can see that it's very easy to attach. You've got really strong magnets on here. Everything works really well. This is going to support auto sleep wake, as I mentioned before. No problems there. And of course, you have a nice protected spot here for your Apple Pencil when it's charging. I think that this strap works really well. It also does a good job in keeping the folio cover closed, although that's not actually necessary. So as you can see, if I hold on to my strap here, you can see that this is going to stay closed even without the strap. It works even better when you're using it with the MagEasy Case 2. Then you have an even better connection here on the front magnetically, but even without it, this still stays closed. So you've got good magnets on here. And speaking about this little strap, you don't need to worry about it getting in the way because it folds out of the way magnetically. You can even tuck it into the inside if you don't want it at all. But overall, I think that it is quite useful, particularly, again, when you are putting your Apple Pencil here to charge. So looking at the folio cover, when it is used as a stand, you have a variety of positions that this can be put into. So you can fold it like this to have this kind of an arrangement. And then you have another landscape position as well, if you do that. And then you can flip this one over and make that into a portrait stand. And then if you flip this one back to the to the arrangement that we had originally. It can sometimes be a little tricky to get this origami thing straight. There we go. Now this one, when you flip it over, this one is going to be your typing and drawing angle. Overall, things work well. You've got nice strong magnets and a very slim profile. Checking this out with the MagEasy Case 2, we have even better magnets when it's used with MagEasy Case 2 really nice and tight so this works really well and when you close it up you have a really beautiful look so it's all nicely sealed along the corners you do have this little gap here where the sides of your ipad are potentially vulnerable but other than that nice amount of protection on the sides going all the way to the top and of course, again, you can put your Apple Pencil Pro there. Everything is going to work great. It's a really nice package here. I think it looks really professional. I love the look and feel here. And then, of course, if you want to use this in stand mode, then flipping this one around. You have that variety of different positions you can put it in. So you've got this landscape and then this typing position. And then when you flip it the other way around, then you can go in portrait and then again in another landscape position. And of course, I just took the, the Apple Pencil Pro off so that I could manipulate it more easily. So obviously this can be in place during all of that. I just took it off because it was getting in my way, but still sticks on great, great magnets. Overall, just a really cool product here from Pataka. So if you want to get both the Folio 2 and the MagEasy Case 2, you can save $10 right now. 
So the MagEasy Case 2 is going to run you $59.99, and the Folio 2 is going to run you $49.99. But if you bundle them together, then you're going to save $10 off the combination. Your MagEasy Case 2 is currently just available in the black color shown in this review. But your Folio 2 comes in three colors. There's the black version featured in this review, as well as a white version and one in light blue. Many thanks to the kind folks at Pataka for sending me out these samples to review. If you have any questions about this or anything else, please feel free to put them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And do consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Again, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.